Genghis Khan's wife had a son from another man, and Khan knew about it. Genghis Khan's wife Borte was his main advisor. Without her, Temujin would not have become the great Khan. Borte was betrothed to the future emperor. As a child, she married Temujin as a teenager. Soon after the wedding, his camp was raided. Borte was abducted by a Merkit tribe. The tribe did it to settle scores. Temujin's mother had originally been married to a Merkit. She was abducted by Temujin's father. Women were forced to stay with their captors. But Temujin and his friend Jamuka rescued Borte. This kicked off the war between the tribes. Temujin overtook the Merkit territory in 1200. A few years later, he adopted the name Genghis Khan. He became the emperor of the newly united tribes. After the abduction, Borte had her first son, Jochi. Jochi was the biological son of her Merkit captor. Genghis's second son attacked Jochi as a bastard, but Genghis forbade anyone to doubt Borte's faithfulness. However, he made his third son his heir. Genghis had at least six wives and 13 children. Borte became his senior wife. She expanded her husband's influence. She betrothed her five daughters to the sons of local leaders. Borte raised four sons to be heirs to the new empire. She also had several adopted children. Mongol men scouted out new places to conquer. Women managed permanent encampments. They also supported warriors in the battle camps. Senior wives managed their own ordo or households. Borte occupied the best spot in camp. She had thousands of people at her service, but her influence extended beyond her yurt. She always had access to her husband. Genghis took her advice on politics and military strategy. Borte foresaw the betrayal of Genghis's friend Jamuka. She advised her husband to break off their friendship. Genghis defeated Jamuka in battle and had him executed. Shaman Teb Tingari was Genghis's close companion. He had predicted Genghis's rise to power, for that Teb got a position in the Khan's court. Once, Teb publicly insulted Genghis's brother. Borte insisted that Genghis punish the shaman. This was a way to reinforce his authority. Genghis conquered more and more territories. Borte ruled those that remained in Mongolia. At 28, Borte became the Grand Empress. Her duties expanded to the whole Mongol Empire. Borte would welcome Genghis's visitors. Commanders and shepherds alike reported to her. She talked to merchants about economic activity. She coordinated seasonal migrations. Mongol households were mobile, but they weren't compact. Women drove a long line of carts, drawn by oxen or yaks. Borte traveled with hundreds of wagons. She had to transport thousands of animals. The women would set up the yurts in the correct order. Without them, the warriors would have had nowhere to return. Borte's life is still unexamined. She and her contributions have mostly been forgotten. Genghis Khan gets all the glory for founding his empire, but he and the rest of the Mongols needed Borte.